how are you welcome back to my teaching channel our last class was about divisibility test whereby i left an assignment that was asking you to determine the multiple of these numbers now you're going to find from the divisibility test there is divisibility rule that i gave about all those numbers now i left this question and i told you to find all the multiples of this number 1206 the first thing it's two we said that for you for a number to be divisible by two it is supposed to be an even an even number now since six is an even number so this number is divisible by two the next thing was three we said that for you to know that a number is divisible by 3, the sum of its digit is divisible by 3. And now we have 12, 0, 6. When you add 1 plus 2 plus 0 plus 6, you get 9. When you multiply 3 by 3, you get 9. So this number is divisible by 3. The divisibility test of 4, when you check on this number, the last two digit, we said that for a number to be divisible by 4, Check the last number, the last two numbers, they are supposed to be divisible by 4. These, our last two numbers, it's 0, 6. 0, 6 is not divisible by 4. So meaning the whole of this number is not divisible by 4. So this number is not divisible by 4. Divisibility in test of 5, it is divisible by 5 if the last number is 0 or 5. No, since our last number is, zero, is 6, therefore it is not divisible by 5. The, other, the, the, next, the, the next is 6. For a number to be divisible by 6, it is supposed to be both divisible by 2 and 3. And now this number is divisible by 2 and 3, therefore it is divisible by 6. So that number is divisible by 6. Divisibility test of 8 you get the last three digits of the number. Now, our last three digits is 206. When you divide 206 by 8, you get it is 25 and it has a remainder of 6. And the divisibility rule, the number is not supposed to give a remainder. So, 8 is not divisible by, by, by this number, by 12 or 6. We didn't talk about nine. I'm going to talk it out to talk about it today. Now, first of all, let me check about ten. The last number is supposed to be zero, and since our last number is six, this one is not divisible by nine by ten. That is, so that one that one is not divisible by ten. Divisibility test of eleven. We are supposed to 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 get the difference of the odd position and then even position my odd position is one and zero that is one when you add them plus two plus six you get it so you subtract you get it is negative seven so this number it's not even a multiple of of 11 or 11 so definitely it is not divisible by 11 so first of all let me talk about the divisibility test before I, I i wind up that that assignment we said that a number to be divisible by nine you get if the sum of its digits it's divisible by nine therefore for this assignment you are supposed to, you are supposed to you are supposed to add this number 1212 1206 that is one plus two plus zero plus six i mean this, the, the divisibility test of, of 9, it's the same as that of 3. You add them and it is 9. So meaning this number 9 is divisible by 9. Therefore, 9 is divisible by this number. So my answer to this question, all multiples, you start with 2, 3, 6, and 9. So these are the, all the multiples of 12, and, of 12 or 6. Hope you you did get that answer. I would like to see. <laughs> and now today we are going to talk about the GCD. This is the greatest. 
common divisor. We talk about this DCD, it is the largest number that is a factor of two or more numbers. This is where you get the factors of more than more than one number or more than even two numbers. So by so we continue by saying when looking for the greatest common factor, you are only looking for the common factors contained in both numbers. So in this DCD, well, for example, when you want to check the these are my two numbers, 3 and 9. You want to know the common factor that is that is between 3 and 9. That is common. Uh, so, to find the GCD of two, num of two or more numbers, you first list the factors of the given numbers in the identity, common factors, and state the greatest among them. So, meaning, when you want to know the factors of 3, it is 1 and 3, right? When you want to know the factors of 9, it is 1, 3, and 9 itself, okay? So, mostly, so meaning the common factor that is uh, available here, it is 3. And we usually look at the prime factors. So, 1 is not a prime factor, yet it is common. But 3, it's also a prime factor, a prime number, sorry. So meaning this this is the prime number. It is the smallest prime number that is three that is common between three and nine. The GCD can also be obtained by first expressing each number as a product of its prime factors. So three, you come and say it is one times three. You always take the prime prime numbers, the smallest prime number, to get the the prime the product. The product of its prime factors like this. I, 9, you can get it is 1 times 3 times 3. So when you multiply 1 times 3 times 3, you get 9. Hope you understand it. Continue, we go on to an example. Find the greatest common factor of 36 and 54. For you, first of all, we have said that for you to get the GCD, first of all, express this number in a product of its prime factors. Remember the prime numbers we talked about the, in the on our first first video. So, meaning the prime factorization of thirty six. This is whereby first of all, use it, uh, make it a uh, make it uh, a tree. Well, well. While dividing this, so this 36, let me just write it here. We start with the smallest prime number, that is 2. When you divide 2 by 36, you get 18. Divide again by 2, because this one is divisible by 2, you get 9. Uh, this one, this 9 is not divisible by 2. It is divisible by 3, so use 3. When you divide 3 by 9, you get 3. Another, always make sure that your answer... The last answer is 1. So you divide by 3 again, you get 1. This one is the one that I'm saying. You leave it as the last solution. So my fa prime factorization of 36 is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. That is the prime factorization. The prime factorization of 54 my, is the second, second number. 54. So let me just light 54 here. The smallest fa prime factor is 2. The smallest prime number that you'll be able to divide 54 is 2. So you get 27. 27 is not divisible by 2. So and but still it's divisible by 3. So divide this number by 3, you get 9. Also divide this 9, you have seen that it's not divisible by 3. So this 9, you divide by 3. This one is not divisible by 2, so you divide by 3. When you divide by 3, you get 3. Divide again by 3, you get 1. So the prime factorization of 54 is 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. So mean the common factor... Let me, let me use up here. Oh, there is a space. <laughs> the 
the factorization of 36 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. The prime factorization of 4 is 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. Okay, so what is common here? There is this 3 and this 3. This 3, this 3. There is 2, there is 2. So meaning, when you multiply 2 times 3 times 3, you get 18. So the, com the GCD of 50 of 34, 36, the GCD of 36 and 54 is 18, okay? We, are, we also check GCD in a form of a table. that is 36 and 54. You draw that table, okay? You will draw yours with, uh, with a ruler, please be neat in these mathematics tests. You divide by 2. You get 18, you get 27. Remember, it is the common factor. You can't divide by 2 because 2 is not divisible by 27. But 3 is divisible by both of these. So you divide by 3, you get 6, and then you get 9. These two are also divisible by 3. Divide by 3, you get 2 and 3. You remember, in my... In my in my question here, as I was getting the solution, we were left with 2 and 3. This is the 2 and 3. And this is the common factor that I have said here. It is 2 times 3 times 3. You get 18. So my GCD is 18. Okay, sorry for that. It's 18. That's, we come to the end of our lesson today. Thank you for watching. But before that, let me just leave an assignment. Find the GCD of 72, 96, and 300. Let's meet in the next video. Please subscribe, like, share to your friends. Let all know that mathematics is not hard. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh,